Good morning, LEGO fans. I am BrickLines, and I hope you are all doing fantastic today. Uh, today, we are going to review the LEGO set, the Christmas Penguin set 40498, and voila, voila, anyway, um, cute. So this is a macaroni penguin. Uh, it rotates. This is a Christmas penguin. Funny story though. So my favorite animal is penguin. So extremely happy when they were going to bring this out. And my wife asked me, well, what kind of penguin is that? And I said that I thought it was a Gen 2 penguin. Uh, if you look those up, they do have yellow striping on the side. And I'm sorry, uh, I take it back. King penguins have the yellow striping on the side. That's what I um, was thinking. Anyway, my son looks at it, who's four, and he says, oh no, that's a macaroni penguin. And so I looked it up, and yes, the macaroni penguins have the tufts of yellow on the side of their head. Uh, so, cute little penguin. The uh, first thing I will point out here is, it comes off very easy. Uh, this little part right here is supposed to be right in between the feet. Uh, it does spin a bit, so you can pose it how you want. Um, keep in mind, posing it will um, get in the way of the, the presence here a little bit. Um, little fins will interact or hit with that. And, oops. Sorry for, sorry for all the motion sickness, trying to get the camera back to where it was. Um, anyway, so the penguin itself is... Uh, does have these um, movable flippers. They go up and down. Uh, they they do kind of, although they're kind of thick, they do go in, in the, the body there. Um, he is a little back heavy, so you can't necessarily, you'd have to actually put him down, and then it's a little bit harder to get his little flippers off without them uh, coming off like that. Oops. Come on, you. Sorry, the flash. The light is uh, blinding. Hold on one second here. There we go. Uh, for, for the purposes of the video, because it's angled a little bit, I'm just going to let him uh, go like that, though. And I'm going to show the inside of here. So each of these has a, an Easter egg. And so the inside of here is this cute little snowflake. Um, and the reasoning, of course, for these is this has to come up so that these pieces have a stability when, when they're placed on here. For the, uh, the fullness. So I'm going to push that back on there. And they might as well, the Lego group likes to put Easter eggs, they might as well put something fun on the inside. So we'll take a look here. There is this cute little tree. And I like how you know, you always get something slightly different with Christmas trees. Um, going to a lot of different sets, and they have a lot of different ways. And then three presents, and then snow on the ground. And these, let's see if they sparkle in the light. Uh, kind of blind, but uh, anyway, these have like a glittery effect on them. And uh, I think that's... I feel like that's something relatively new. The first time I saw that was with the uh, Sesame Street set. But uh, anyway, cute little guy. Love it. Uh, penguins, like I said, I'm, I'm a, a fan. It's my favorite animal. So with them coming out with an official penguin set, I was very, very happy to get that. Uh, this, uh, I think, again, is sold out. Um, on, uh, on the Lego website, but uh, once you see it, once you're available to get it, these are, are relatively good price. They're uh, 
uh, for 244 pieces, and I think that that is a fantastic deal when it comes to these. Uh, my general rule of thumb, if you don't know, is about 100 pieces per $10, unless you're buying like a 4 plus set that has a relatively large, and then if there's a lot of minifigures, that can boost the price as well. If you think of the, the minifigure packs, those are about $5 each. Um, so it's okay if there's a lot of minifigures to boost that up a little bit, or if it's a four plus set with large pieces, um, taking those into account. But a normal, a normal set like this being over almost 250 pieces at only 15 bucks, uh, is definitely well worth it. And I could have the pricing off a little bit, but I don't think I do. Um, anyway, with that being said, if you have watched this far, do not forget, subscribe to BrickWise. I appreciate every single one of you who does it. Uh, like the video as well if you got this far, and make sure to comment uh, if, what, what your favorite penguin is, uh, even if penguins are not your favorite animal. Is there a different penguin you wish that they would make? Uh, or is this a set that you're planning on getting? Uh, with that being said, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Goodbye.